So welcome everybody. My name is Jorge. And today we're going to be talking about the Taino culture, and specifically about the language of the Taino people. So I want you to look over here at this map. Does anyone have an idea? What is this map from? Do you know? Do you know where do we live? What continent we live? North America. So this is a map of North America, but it has also Central America. And this is a little bit of South America. So the Taino people were the first inhabitants of the Antillas, which are all these islands on the Caribbean. And I am from Cuba. This is my, my homeland. And they actually came from South America. And the currents here in the Caribbean Sea, they flow from south to north. So they were like on their canoes. They're called canoas in Taino. They were like traveling these islands and they get to the bigger islands and even to the Bahamas. So, and today actually we're going to travel like 500 years back in time to the like 1600s and I'm going to transform into a Taino boy, okay? But you need to count to three. I'm going to like get my jet and travel into time and when you come to three I'm going to transform into a Taino boy so you need to come with me one two, two three hi hello how is everybody doing good oh my name is Wama and my name is actually after a cacique, a famous cacique. A cacique is a Taino chief. And I'm from Cuba, too. So, today I wanted to tell you a story, actually. When I grew up, I want to be a vejique, not a cacique. A vejique is the medicine man and the priest of our village. And I'm a Taino, as I told you. Taino are good-hearted people because we live in harmony with nature and with, within ourselves. Can you see it on the back over there? What can you see? Can you see over here? What? Does anybody see something in here? What is that? <laughs> can you tell me? Can you see like houses? Yes. Those are my, you know, that's where I live. This is my village. We call our village Yucayetes. <coughs> and the houses, we call them boillos. And we build our boillos with palm tree leaves and with wood. <coughs> Actually, Taino's favorite food is yuca. And the yuca is similar to <coughs> potatoes, it's a root. And we grate the yuca and we make a flour and with that flour we make cassave. They are like big tortillas, similar to corn tortillas, but are tastier and crunchy. Mm. And right now I have a piece of cassave in my basket. And this basket we call them havas. In my hava I have a piece of cassave for later. But well, uh, my story for today is about, you know, I want to be a vejique. Do you have an idea why I want to be a vejique? Well, vejiques are able to talk to trees, like this one. This tree is a seva tree. It's sacred among our people because it connects, we believe it connects earth with heaven. And actually, this tree is one of my favorite hideouts to play hide and seek. Hello, can you see me there? Ooh. And today, actually, I'm going to try to talk to the tree. I talked to the vejique of my village, of my yucayeca, and he told me some words. And I'm going to try them because I wanted to practice right now if I wanted to be a good vejique when I grow up, okay? So he told me, what were the words? Um, I remember. 
save a tree, save a tree, please talk to me. Oops, seems to be didn't work out. Could you help me? Probably if you help me, we can do it like two times. Okay, let's do it. Save a tree, save a tree, please talk to me. Could you repeat this second time? Save a tree, save a tree, please talk to me. <clears throat> Hello. <gasps> Hello. Yes. Who are want to talk? To, who wants to talk to me? Me, me, Wama. I can't believe I'm talking to a tree. Yay! <laughs> Well, yes, you are talking to me now, but what would you like to know? Oh, mm, I forgot. Mm. Ah, I remember. Yes, I heard from my father that when they need to build a canoa, which is a canoe, that they come to see you and the vehicle actually talks to you and... Oops, I forgot. Oh, okay, I know everything about that. I can tell you, actually, when Taino men wants to build a canoe, they come to me with a vehicle, and the vehicle communicates with me. And I tell them how they need to transform it into a canoa. Yes, and more importantly, my spirit will keep living in the canoa. And they need to pay, pay respect to my spirit for life. All the men who participate in transforming me into a canoa. Wow! You say that your spirit is still alive in a canoa? Yes, that's exactly what I said. Wow! Can I give you a kiss, Tree? Oh, do you think when I grow up, I can be a good vehicle? Oh, yes, if you keep in, keep giving me those kisses, I think you're going to be the best vehicle of the world. Mm. What do you think, kids? Can I go? Am I going to be a good vehicle? No. Oh, ooh, why you say that? I think a good boy. I'm, I'm practicing right, right now. So when I grow up, I'm going to know everything about talking to trees and about the plans to cure my people because vehicles are medicine men and also the priests, they talk to the spirits. So I think that actually the vehicle told me that once I finish talking to the tree, I need to tell him to go to sleep. So could you repeat with me? Save a tree, save a tree, please go to sleep. Let's do it. Save a tree, save a tree, please go to sleep. Okay, bye bye. And I need some clapping there. <laughs> okay. So now let's go back to our tables and we're going to be making a book. Okay? So each of you have like a column on your tables. I want you to a column of words, like this one. I want you to grab that column, okay? So we're going to be making a book of Taino words. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the words before we start making the book, okay? So a lot of this word I use in Spanish as spoken in the Caribbean nowadays and actually even in English. So can you tell about Iwana? That's just a straight Taino word. Do you know the Iwanas? Yes? So Taino used to hunt Iwanas and eat their, their meat, you know? Sun Sun is a hummingbird, and they call it Sun Sun because of the flapping of the wind. Zun, 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 zun. Kawama is actually the way we call sea turtles in Cuba. And a specific kawama is the loggerhead turtle. 
the green turtle, we call, we call them caray. But we don't have caray on our list. So what is boillo? Do you remember what is a boillo? Do you remember our, our friend? Show you, where does he live? The house, exactly. Yes, that's a boillo. And they build the boillo using the palm tree leaf for the roof and wood for, you know, for the frame of the house. And nowadays in the countryside, Cubans use the same kind of construction. They live in boillos. What about canoa? What is a canoa? Do you remember? Yes. A canoe. A canoe. And they make, they make canoas out of ceiba trees and they need to talk to the a spirit of the tree and the spirit of the tree gives permission and the spirit of the tree tells them how the tree needs to be to transform into a canoe or canoa, okay? Amaca, amaca, and in English we say hammock. So it has also a, ta a Taino origin, okay? So amaca, you know, this is this bed that you hang from two posts and you can like swim. And the Spaniards actually, when they first came to the Caribbean, they adopted the, ha the amacas for their, for their chips. Before that, they used to sleep on the floor. So they, they thought that amacas were like cleaner because they can clean them and avoid uh, diseases overseas. Maracas is the same, you know, the same word in English. So it's also a Taino word. And they use uh, a widow. It's the name of the fruit. And they get, get the flesh out of it. And they put like little pieces of rocks or shells to make music. Wayo. Do you know this little thing? How do you call it in English? A grater used to, you know, to grate the, the fruit or cheese. And they use actually, you know, not a metal one because they didn't know metal, but they use it to grate the yuca, which is a little harder than, than potatoes. Do you know yuca? Have any of you have eaten yuca before? It's manioc or tapioca. And you know, when they grate it, they make a flour, and with that flour, they make a tortilla called cassava, like, like this big usually. You can still eat them on the Caribbean. So Hawa, do you remember our little friend? He has a, ca a little piece of cassava in his Hawa. What is Hawa? Basket, exactly. And nowadays, Cuban people, you know, the, these baskets were used to, for carrying food. And nowadays, when Cubans go to the, to the store or to the grocery store to buy their, their groceries, the bag they take is, are called Hawas. We don't say bolsa which is the Spanish word for, for, for bag. We say hawa. Yuca, I told you already about the yuca. Mm -hmm. And actually, yokahu is the main deity of the Taino. It's the giver of yuca, because it's the main food source for them. Ají, ají is uh, chili pepper or any kind of, of, of pepper. And actually, uh, you know, we don't say chili in, in Cuba. We say ají. And while on sex, it's really interesting goddess of the Tainos. This one over here. It's a hurricane goddess, or huracan, as we said in, in, in Spanish and in Taino. And you see the shape of while on sex? It's an S shape. And if you have a satellite photograph of a hurricane, this is exactly the same shape. And they knew about it. So this is called also the Lady of the Winds. So let's go back to our book. Does everybody have a piece of paper that is folded? And that it can make a book, actually, too. So each of you have a piece of paper? And Daddy can make one, too. Oh, okay. Why not? And Mommy can come, too. Are you going to stand there? Yes. Come in, you can, yeah, you can participate. So do we have more, more of the folded paper? Yeah. So we're going to actually be making an ox claw quill book. And we have some instructions on the table, but I'm going to guide you through, okay? So the first thing, 
actually want to tell uh, mommies and daddies how you know I made this sheet of paper this is actually a half by 11 sheet cut one inch off each side so it's seven and a half by ten if you want to make this book on home and then I make this little mark here at two and a half inches and then I fold fold it like that so the second part of it is just bring this edge and bring it to the fold that fold I already make and fold it okay and do it on your table use your fingers to a score and fold <coughs> so you bring it yeah bring it all the way to the fold bring it all the way you bring it all the way to this fold over here mm -hmm. And then you hold it like that, and then with the other hand, you like you use your like, yeah, like that. You can use your finger too, and just cut it really, really hard like that, all the way through, like that. Great. And once you do that, actually, I want you to fold it back, both folds, okay? I want you to fold it to into the other direction so the paper can come, you know, in both directions. Just fold it through the other direction, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's really flexible, okay? You can fold it to the front or to the back. So by looking at this image over here, would you guess what is next? We're going to make a lot of squares. Would you guess what is next? So we're going to fold on the longer side, okay? So we're going to bring this edge to the bottom and fold it so it's going to be lo looking like a, like a quilt okay so and remember every time you make a fold you fold it back you fold it on the other direction fold it yeah really well like that okay And then, and then we're going to bring this edge to the center fold, similar to what we did before. And then we, you know, we fold it, use your fingers really hard. And remember, fold it back every time. We make a fold, we fold it into the other direction. So we can fold, you know. And the, you know, the last part is also the same. You bring the other edge to that center fold. Okay. So are you into math? How many squares do we have? Can you count how many squares do we have? How many? 12, that was fast. You did multiplication or you counted? You counted, that was really fast. Okay. So now actually I want you to get the columns of words and use a scissors and split, you know, each individual word. And you are running, each of you have one column. So get an a scissor and cut your words. Okay. Not the paper, you have a column okay. of the 12 words that we yeah. talked before. I want you to use your scissors and yeah. cut. You do that now? Okay. So come on, right here, guys. Great. Can you knock on the line, Mom's taking over. Sophia.
So once you cut your words and you're, some of you are getting there, okay, I want you to pick six of your favorite words that you learned today, okay? So, and we're going to be glued in like on this part. And actually, I want you to make like some like X's, you know, like this. And I want you to make an X where you're going to be gluing your words, okay? So it's going to be on the first and on the third and the same on the last row. And on the center, it's going to be a little different. Now I'm going to actually give you like a little map where these cross are going to be made. So do them a little tiny. And let me give you, yeah. One for you guys. So you got it ready? Great. So I'll just make that. Going to be, yeah. Okay. On the first and on the third and then the second and the fourth. Right. Yeah, you got it. Okay. So okay, now, now the, I wanted to show you something that is a little tricky, okay? So you see that the column on the center was different? than the other two, and that's because the words are going to be upside down, okay? So the words, so you glue the first and the, and the last row, the right side up, but on the center, these words are going to be upside down. Or you can just flip the paper and glue them. You can do that too. Or you glue them upside down, okay? So daddy and mommy helps your kids. So they need to, the center needs to be upside down. Okay? Are these kids doing well here? Which words do you want to pick? You want to be upside down. Yeah, it's just just the one on the yeah on the center. Yeah, this is the center. These two are going to be upside down. Yeah, like that. Great. Oh, we can find, yeah. You want kawama? Yeah, we can find a kawama. I'm sure they will be, look at that one. Fun. Yeah, that's a very beautiful stand. You will like it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You got them already? Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I like spicy food. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I really like So this, yeah, this one's yeah. It's actually this one and then this one is yeah. Just the okay. just the center row. Yeah, the center row is so upside down. Which yeah, you're good got it. Yeah. Which ones do you want to pick? Do you want to pick the hummingbirds? Yeah. Do you want to take the turtle? That's the storm. The storm god. Mm -hmm. That's the standard. Yeah. That's a Great. So on this one, yeah. This one is upside down. You can Let's make move again. You want to take a canoe? Guana, Java, and swing it back. Canoe? I want the right side up. No, the right side. Yeah, yeah. So, are you getting there? Maracas, Sophia? Maracas is fun, right? Yes, it's really fun. And what else? And a lot of the Latin rhythms use maracas, like salsa, merengue. That's the basket. You want to take that? So once you have your words down, then you are going to find the stamps, okay? And the stamps that have actually the words on the wooden part. 
And the direction of the words is the direction that you're going to orient your, you know, your stamps on the paper. And you put it on the right of the word. Okay? So you have your ink pads. Okay, you like press them really hard on the ink and press them really, really hard on the paper. Okay? There are a few stamps that are a little, given a little trouble, like Amaka is one of them and Hava. So I have like a little trick. Once you put it down like this, you might bring it like this and press really hard. And I think it's only Amaka and Hava. The rest are really fine, okay? So if you get Amaka and Hava, I can help you to have a really good print. You see? Okay, <coughs> I draw my Amaka. <coughs> 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 And you might have to go to other tables to find the other stamps, okay? Because there are like stamps on other tables. Yeah, yeah. The ones that are, yeah, that one, that one, you just do it. Yeah, the right side. Yeah, you have oriented the right side up. Mm -hmm. Maraca, uh, Maraca might be on the first. Yeah, on the first table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you put them uh, right to the right, right to the wall. And also it's upside down, right? Yeah. Yeah, or you can just flip it like that, so you, 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 you don't need to do, yeah, the upside down part. And that one, yeah, that's the one that I wanted to, yeah, like flip like that, and because it has to have a little Now, take your, take this. Great. Good job. So Maraca, Wawanse. Great. So you need a maca. Yeah. Maca is right here. And you can get your ink pad. Mm -hmm. So you, you already wire? Mm -hmm. Do you, you, you have wire? Yes. No. Do you have wire here? Yeah. Do you have wire any chance? No. Oh my god. So who needs canoa and boio? You need canoa? Okay. You need boio? In Spanish, actually, the H is mute. Okay. You don't pronounce it, boio. Yeah. If you see an H, you just like pretend that it's not there. Yeah, it will, it will come okay. Yeah, that, was, that doesn't, doesn't have any, any trouble. Do you have wires by any chance? None of you go wire? No, okay. Come on. Oh, that's maracas. That's a wire. Yeah. Great. Canoa. Yeah, the canoa was in here. You finish with the canoa? I know you might you might press on the back too. Okay. And it has like a little spot. You see it on the center? Okay, no. Put it right here. Right here, that square. Right there. Push right there. Right there, that's square. So you need maracas. Okay, that's good. Okay, great. She has a maracas. Wow. That's a good one. So boillo. Wow. She has boillo. So you can do boillo. Yeah. Um, the wire is over here, actually. Mm. Wow. 
Does anyone kawama? Yeah. Do you have kawama? Do you have iwana? Maraca? Wayu, you have wayu. The wayu is here. Yeah. The wayu you might, you know, you might press on the back too carefully when you put it. So they have a he. I saw the he around here. Hmm? So, Sunzu, you had already? Sunzu, you had already? Iwana. You need Iwana? He needs Iwana. Sunzu, yeah. You need Sunzu. And, and you need Kawama. And you need Kawama too. Yeah, that one is yeah, that one is one of the ones that yeah, it's a little bit wrong. You press here on the back, you press here on the back. Yeah. Great. Yeah. You the paper? Oh, yeah. Great. Oh, yeah. You have a basket. You need a maca. That's a java. The is over here. Yeah. Hawa, yeah, Hawa, yeah. The the J in Spanish it sounds like the H in English. Ha 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 sound. Yeah, Hawa. And actually, what is confusing the G? It sounds like that too with the E and with the I. If you see G with the E and with the I, sound ha. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. Wow. So are, are you already done for the next part? We need the canoa. So we need to do those lines. Okay. You see that bigger drawing over there? So you need to make these lines. So you get from the you know, first. Yeah. The bottom of the first. Square it down. And you can do like a little a dot and a little line here, and then you use your ruler and you join the two dots, and then you flip it. So what's the hammer? Okay. Okay. Let's do the Put your your you know put your roof like that vertical. And I might find you another. Ruler. So you're probably almost ready for the nest. Mommy's getting, is getting there. Mm -hmm. So we got the yucca. Yeah. Great. So the nest. Yeah. The nest part. We're going to be making these lines. Okay. So it's also over here. Okay. So I want you to, you know, orient the paper like this, okay. like vertical. And then you do like a little dot. You know, at the bottom of the first square, all the way, and then, and then you do the bottom, and then you get, you get your ruler, you get your line, you flip it, and then you get the same. Okay. Okay. You got it. Let's do that. Let me. We need the power line. So, mommy needs the dot right here. Right here in the corner. We put a dot right there. Ah. And actually. There is uh, like a famous, uh, a famous uh, soup that is, uh, you know, really popular in, in Cuba called ajiaco. Wow, and it's seasoned with ají. Yeah, okay, that's also like a Taino heritage, for, you know, in Cuba. I, I, I bought it. Yeah, no, <laughs> it. So right now. Can I do this one? No, you don't need to do it like that. So the line, you need to orient your paper vertical, like this. Ah, you did? I just got it. Okay, you got it, you got it. And then you get your scissors, and then you cut, and you stop, you know, on that, and you cut, and then on the other side, and then you stop. No, okay. No, 
Yeah. 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 And then you fold out. You fold in. And this one might you know, we might need to like you know go like the middle. You cut a long line. Very careful not to go beyond. That's really good. You cut three squares and then you stop the board. Out. Out. In and out. In and out. Out. In. So. And now for folding, you know, you start uh, from here, and then you fold in and out. In and out. And that's the like the fold, the ox flow part of the of the book. The, so and then you cut it, and then you stop right at the you know, right at the dot. Okay. You cut on the line. You cut on the line. Yeah. And then stop. This here's Jacob. Mm -hmm. Let me finish this and I'll, help, I'll get you the other one, okay? Yeah, that was like... Let me do it first. Mm -hmm. Jacob? This part? Yeah. Sure. Let me see. Okay, no. So now you... No, that was... Yeah, you cut here. That was the part of the... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, where are you popping that here? Yeah. So you open your book. So, and this book actually has some possibilities that you can like, you know, like tape it like this. You know, it's like a triangle. Okay. You can okay. stop it like that. Okay. Or you can actually tape the, you can tape the back of it and you actually make the book. Okay. And this actually like a little bit of cover on the table. Are we running out of those? Are we running out of those? Let me see if I can find more on the table. How like a little cover says Taino or something. Come on, come on. 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 So this book has some possibilities, you know, you can like tape it like this, and it's like a little triangle, and you can stand it, like that, or you can actually tape, you know, the back of it, and make an actual, the actual book, by taping the back of it. And now I want you to like tape that on the cover. Right the other side. Right. Use your light. Use your light. Yeah. You have your boot on. Awesome. So, and you have like a little square, you know, that is the cover of your book. I think we're running out of like some, some of those. Ah, there is more in here. That's great. So. Did all of you get out to get them? The square you probably do one. And uh, you have, uh, you don't, this is for your uh, cover. You have extensive studs. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's a stud. Can you do that? Can you do that? Can you do that? Yeah. So the image is to be always to the inside. So you just saw like folding. That's a baby. Like folding like maybe in and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. So all, all 
all your, you know, all your oh. words are going to be like a little bit. Okay. And one thing you can do actually, if you want, you can tape it like this. You can do like a triangle yeah. to the stand. Yeah. But you can actually tape the back of the, you know, these back pages and actually make the actual book. Oh, okay. Tape that on the front cover. Double side tape. Yeah. Yeah. The Good one then. that falls apart. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. I don't think you know. So yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the back, uh -huh. you can tape it. Great. Whose book is this? Thank you. I wanted to tell me actually which is your favorite Taino word you learned today. Can you tell me of the images? Which is <laughs> What's your favorite one? Sun Sun? Yay! What's your favorite one? Iguana. Iguana. Is it lizard your favorite? Iguana. What's yours? Iguana. 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 What's your son yours? Maraca. Maraca. Yes, maraca. Usually you say maracas because when you play them, there's the two of them, you know. <laughs> That's why you use the plural, but the singular is in maraca. Yeah. What about yeah, like my advantage gift to children here? <laughs> what, is, what is your favorite word? Thank you for coming, you know, keep exploring the, the activity center. Thank you for coming. Oh, the wayo. And yuca? Ahi, uh -huh. while well, sex is yeah. really great. <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, wayo, you know, they use as a verb too, like wayar. Wayar is like, you know, to great. And what were your favorite words? Canoa? Wow. And yours, what was your favorite one? I thought that was a little. Ahi? Great. Amaka? <laughs> you oh, me too. <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah. And this little girl here, what was your favorite time award you learned today? What was your favorite English? All the pictures. That was the word. What's the word for the hummingbird? Hawa. Hawa. Yeah, the Hawa. Uh -huh. Thank you. Oh, thanks for coming. It was really awesome to have you here. Sure, I love it. So you can make your book for anything you want to now. In Taino, actually, I don't know. Yeah, no <laughs> worry. Yeah, yeah, that one say hasn't. Yeah, that I of my knowledge. Yeah. Gracias. Yeah, gracias. Work. <laughs> oh, oh, like this. You know, it's so so beautiful. Yeah, gracias. Yeah, thanks. Well, ask while in sex. <laughs> <laughs> now let's clean up.